Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and you may not be aware that several years ago, cancer surpassed heart disease as the number one killer of most Americans. And that's, that's most unfortunate because of one, somewhere between one in two and one in three people will come down with cancer in their lifetimes. Fortunately, by uh, uh, being aware of some simple practical uh, interventions, you can pretty much radically reduce that. And of course, one of the most important ones is to uh, make sure that you're taking enough vitamin D, and that's either through swallowing it orally or getting your uh, skin exposed to adequate amounts of sunshine or a safe tanning bed. But it's really crucial and key that you make sure that your vitamin D level is measured in your blood because you're really the only way you're going to know, and you're going to need to get your blood levels between 50 and 70 nanograms. Now, if you're a woman, your number one risk of cancer is breast cancer, and traditionally one of the most pre uh, uh, preventive screening interventions has been mammography. Now, I'm not a big fan of mammography for a number of reasons. One, and the primary one, is that it actually can increase your risk of cancer because most mammograms will have about 1,000 times the amount of ionizing x-ray radiation to the breast as a chest x-ray. So, uh, it, although it, it can serve as a screen, uh, it it is not the best one. And in fact, there's some question as to whether or not mammography has actually ever been shown to be effective at reducing the risk of, uh, uh, and the incidence of breast cancer. So I've become much more partial to recommending thermography. And thermography is uh, a really great tool. It's non-invasive, it's painless, and there's absolutely no radiation at all. It actually is a sensor that detects the amount of heat and, and, and radiation coming from the body. And uh, the, the exam is relatively quick and painless. It uh, takes about 15 minutes or so. And typically, one removes most of their clothes so they can equilibrate to the room temperature. And uh, then an image is taken of the body, and, and specifically for the breast for mammography, the thermo thermography. And uh, it also has other indications. One can use uh, thermo thermograms to check uh, a, a whole body thermogram, which can check for inflammation in the body, and that's useful for such inflammatory conditions such as arthritis, of course, and in other injuries such as musculoskeletal injuries, heck, head and neck pain. It can even check for things like blood clots. So it's a very useful tool, and if uh, screening for breast cancer is an, is an important consideration for you, I'd encourage you to consider that. It becomes particularly useful if you are um, if you do an annual exam, because uh, the, you can compare the, the current exam with the previous years, and if there's a difference, then it's even a more powerful predictor. But th thermography uh, can check for things that really even can't be detected in, in normal mammograms, such as these inflammatory processes. It can look for asymmetries or differences in the vascular patterns, and it can find certain types of inflammatory cancers even before they show up as a lump or visible in a, a mammogram. So it's a very useful tool. I'd encourage you to consider it. We've written a lot about it. Review, review, uh, use Google Google to look up other information, but I think you'll be very impressed with it as a, as a useful alternative for um, screening for, for breast cancer. But of course, remember that the most important thing you can do is to make sure that you prevent it in the first place and make sure that you're taking your vitamin D and even more importantly, measuring it so that you're, you're sure your you're, uh, vitamin D levels are in the therapeutic range. So this is the type of information that you can use that's really going to make a significant dent in your health so that you and your family can continue to take control of your health. Digital infrared thermal imaging is a highly sensitive and non-invasive clinical imaging procedure that emits no radiation of any kind for objectively detecting and monitoring many injuries and conditions. The color scale for visual interpretation is based on a 16 color scale that is divided into an 8 degree Celsius range which gives half a degree per color for visual interpretation. The human body is thermally symmetrical and the images shown are normal thermal patterns that are constant and repeatable. Thermal imaging is especially appropriate for younger women between 30 and 50 whose denser breast tissue makes it more difficult for mammography to detect suspicious lesions. This test can provide a clinical marker to the doctor that a specific area of the breast needs particularly close examination. Digital infrared thermal imaging detects the subtle physiologic changes that accompany breast pathology whether it is cancer, fibrocystic disease, an infection, or a vascular disease. Doctors can then plan accordingly and lay out a careful program to further diagnose and or monitor until other standard testing becomes positive. This allows for the earliest possible treatment. The image here shows a 37-year-old patient presented for routine thermographic breast screening. She was not in a high-risk category. The vascular asymmetry in the upper left breast 
and the local hypothermia at 11 o'clock was particularly suspicious, and subsequent clinical investigation indicated a palpable mass at the position indicated. A biopsy was performed and a DCIS of 2 centimeters was diagnosed. Detection and monitoring of all cancers with digital infrared thermal imaging relies on the body's sympathetic response to the pathology. TMJ can be difficult to diagnose. This patient had classic symptoms and classic thermographic findings consistent with TMJ, which helps to confirm a diagnosis. The frontal view of the upper legs shows a patient who had unexplained pain in the right leg for over a year. The thermogram shows a varicose vein that a vascular surgeon was able to treat with minimal intervention due to the accuracy of the localization. The image showing the vascular pattern in the right lateral leg was a patient who had a three-year history of pain in the mid-lateral thigh and knee. After a series of tests failing to find any cause for the pain, this thermographic study led to a confirmed diagnosis of phlebitis. Hyperthermia over both lobes of the thyroid indicated this patient having thyroid dysfunction. This football player's x-ray showed no abnormality. Thermography correlated well with the patient's report of pain and provided justification for the more invasive test which clearly showed a stress fracture in the exact location indicated temperatures. The camera is sensitive to infrared radiation rather than visible light. The patient is asked to disrobe and put on a lightweight gown. This allows for the body to acclimate to the ambient temperature of the clinic before imaging begins. The technician will then focus the camera and start the scan. She can adjust the display, compare images, and change color maps for the interpreting physician to better see the necessary colors for evaluation. The colors in a thermogram are applied to ranges of temperature. The colors are applied to identify patterns which are more important than the colors. The colors in a thermogram are applied to ranges of temperature. These colors are applied to identify patterns which are more important than the colors. These colors show a temperature range of 8 degrees Celsius over the body. The technician's objective is to constantly provide optimum quality images. To maintain this standard, it is important to adjust the images so that the area of interest is within the middle range of the color scale.